What you're looking at is my Corsair 4000D Airflow case. And I just recently replaced my Ryzen 2700X with a Ryzen 9 5900X. And it definitely runs a lot hotter than that 2700X. And I need every bit of these Noctua fans to keep it nice and cool. Now, what I wanna try right here, as you can see on the top, I got two exhaust fans. And this front fan here, if we come down here, it's exhausting the air in all likelihood before the cool air from the front intake fans can actually make it to the heat sink fan right there. So what I wanna do is flip that fan to see if I can get some better temps and make it an intake fan to have a total of four intake fans and then just two exhaust fans, the rear exhaust and then that top left exhaust fan. So just to get a baseline right here, I ran a 10 minute Cinebench R23 run. And if we look right there, my lowest temp was at 33.4 degrees Celsius. And during that 10 minute Cinebench run, I had a max temp of 76.3 degrees. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and flip this fan to an intake fan, run the same test and see if we can get better temps. All right, it only took about a minute and you can see right here, this is now an intake fan, leaving me with one top exhaust fan. And then you can see I still have the rear exhaust fan as is. All right, I've just completed another 10 minute Cinebench run and this is interesting. You can see right there that 32.8 is a little bit cooler than the other fan configuration, but look at the max temp, 76 degrees. So that's about three degrees more warmer than the previous fan setup. So that's really interesting. The only thing I can think of is that um, this CPU runs so hot, it needs all the exhaust fans. So just to make sure, I'm gonna flip this fan back and run the same run to see if I get the similar results I did in the very first run. All right, back to the original configuration. I switch it back to an exhaust fan. And there you go, you can see right there that the maximum temp is at 73.5 degrees. I believe that's one tenth of a degree cooler than the first run that I showed. All right, so what does this really mean? I guess with the 5900X, the 12 cores, 24 threads, it runs really hot. And I for this 4000D airflow, that is my rig, with all those Noctua fans and that heat sink, I need more exhaust to get rid of the heat. It might be different for you in your case and whatever your fan configuration is. But what I do know is for the past 18 months, I've received dozens and dozens of comments telling me how that one fan that I was flip-flopping was useless, that it was stealing the fresh intake air, and it may well be, and it was causing my temps to be higher than they should be. But doing this quick test within the past hour has proven to me and hopefully to all the other commenters in the previous videos I've done that having more exhaust for the 5900X is better for temps. If you found this video interesting or it helped you in any way, make sure to drop a like on it. And as always, I am going to see you in the next video, folks. I want to thank you for watching. Bye-bye.